review of this. Zico, epic player, one of the best from this pack, if not the best, actually. Uh, he is classic number 10. He's not that good for quick counter or long ball counter. Well, for quick counter, he is, actually. For long ball counter, not that much. He is good for a possession style of, of people and for tactic that I play. You can uh, increase his ball control dribbling and tight possession around 90, low pass around 90, and then speed and acceleration. Because he has curl, you can increase his finishing to 80 and then kicking power with speed and acceleration, but he's more all about creating him to be as messy. He is more messy like player, actually then he is a finisher or something like that and he has dipping shot chip shot control sombrero uh first time shot one touch pass through passing outside curl a captaincy so he would be a good addition but does it because if you already have ambassador messi any version of it if you have epic messi you don't need zico because that, that's exactly the same player on the exact position and if you have Maybe to use him in the second half, maybe, but why would you? Why would you? If you have results in second half, you need to close down the game, not chase the result. So you need a center midfielder to play in that position. And Zico is not good center midfielder. He is good advanced midfielder and secondary striker. A center midfielder, he will lose balls because he doesn't have physical contract. He doesn't have, well, he has balance, but he doesn't have physical contact to take the ball. So that would be an issue with him. Roberto Carlos, already good speed and acceleration. They did a terrible job at his defensive stats, but he is an offensive fullback. But again, they did a terrible job with his finishing, if you're going to use him as a fullback finisher. They did a terrible job with his ball control dribbling tight possession as well, and low pass and lofted pass as well. So basically, they give him just speed. And you can increase his speed to, I don't know, 90, and kicking power will be increased as well. Acceleration, you can increase it to 90, and then you need to allocate the rest of the points. Now, this is a crucial part. What do you want from, from Roberto Carlos to be? If you want to have him as a fullback finisher, he needs to have defensive awareness 75, and he needs to have ball control dribbling and finishing all around 85 but if you want to have him as a crossing option then finishing needs to be 75 defensive awareness again needs to be 75 ball control delivering you can increase to 80 and rest you need to allocate on low pass and lofted pass it is not going to give you a significant increase but it will give you something so they, they actually butchered Roberto Carlos because Roberto Carlos at his prime in Real Madrid wasn't this terrible. And and and, and, and I don't know. And then the last again butchered player, Kaká. 26 years of age, whole player. Prime in Milan, I think. He was still in Milan there. He has good acceleration, 86. Decent speed, 82. You can increase that on 88, and acceleration needs to be on 88. Terrible kicking power. We know that Kaka scored some amazing goals for Milan. So, kicking power is going to increase slightly, but if you increase his speed, then you will lose the points. Uh, what they butchered him is ball control tight possession as well. Kaka was an amazing dribbler and holder of the ball. Finishing is 76, so you can increase that on 82. Curl is terrible. He had decent, well, well not exceptional, but decent curl. So, and low pass and lofted pass. Look at this, 74. What, what's up with that? It, it needs to be base 80, at least 80. So again, they destroyed Kaká. They destroyed Kaká, and Kaká is actually useless. Especially if you have 
epic messy if you have the if you have Ronaldinho, if you have Guti, if you have uh, Ambassador Messi, any version, if you have Neymar, they they they, they actually destroyed Kaká. Kaká is pretty much a useless player with this with this stats that they d developed. So if this and and look at this, there there is one touch pass. There is no weighted pass on him, long range curler and long, long range shooting with kicking power 75. That's not good enough. It needs to be at least 85 and finishing needs to be around 82 to long range shooting and long and curl needs to be around 82 so they, they could work outside curlers and long range curlers. So they have skill cards, but they don't have attributes for it. So that terrible build, actually terrible build of Kaká. And people were rejoicing that they will get Kaká from, from this pack. And I would say that this Kaká is actually curse than a gift. So overall, this pack doesn't worth anything if you already have players that I mentioned. If you don't have any of those players, if you don't have Ronaldinho, if you don't have Guti, if you don't have Gascone, if you don't have um Gerard, if you don't have Kevin De Bruyne, if you don't have Bruno Fernandes, if you don't have Messi, if you don't have who else? Who else? Gundogan, Pedri, Kaká is not worthwhile. Zico is not worthwhile. They butchered Roberto Carlos. Even Lizard Azul is better than Roberto Carlos. So so yeah. This pack, Puyol and Casillas were great. This pack, every one of them are great, but you don't need them if you have ambassadors and everything. So, so basically, Konami is trying to milk money from us with lack of content and lack of creativity and lack of good players. Cruyff is better than Kaká. So yeah, this pack actually it's not that great. Sadly, I wouldn't recommend anyone to get this.